Bam! Just like that, 13 minutes and 28 seconds of brand new Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay trailer just dropped two seconds ago. Let's have a look. All right, so here she is. They literally say Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay preview on the official Pokemon YouTube channel that just went live as of 2000. I mean, people were refreshing for this. Let's go ahead and watch it together, guys. Full volume here. Let's do it. Welcome, trainers. Thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming It's a full-on preview. Oh, sick. Arceus. What is this quality? January 28th, exclusively on the, the Nintendo Switch system. Don't mind today, that. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. All Mount right, here Coronet we go. Some actual gameplay. The center of the Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Oh, there's some mining nodes. Rich in different colors and everything. Cool. And plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. Ooh. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The Obsidian area Fieldlands. Is here we are. With Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover. And you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. Some plants to the right there. These back materials there. can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey, including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a Pokeball. I hope this isn't the more. default movement speed. Okay, Pokemon okay. <laughs> help you collect these materials too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks. Picking up plants growing in the wild grass. Wow. Defeating or catching Pokemon. That sound effect is very Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items. Oh, it's a tumble stone. I thought it was a stake from previous footage. <laughs> All right. Demonstrating some of the crafting there. Fine. That's cool. We knew about All the trees. We've seen that already. Here, depending on the time of the day now for wild battles. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach. Like well, that's today. cool. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away. You can run faster than them. They don't fly or away? an aggressive Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. You just threw a Pokeball aggressive at them. Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. I see. So it's like aggro. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. Wow, this looks like a long game as well. Uh, just watching it for off the bat here. This could be a long, could be a lot of gameplay through that, which is good. All right, nice. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, the rainy weather a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then Oh, that's cool. Wow, there's so many new mechanics. Pokemon is much less aware of your presence. So many. You to go in for a backstroke. Headshot. They're actually just there just straight up playing in the water, which is interesting as well. That's kind of cool. When encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. Wow. These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. Sniped! If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you are carrying. The music, the sound effects are very Breath of the Wild. There's no hiding it now, you know, it's just very out there. Alright, that's cool. Okay, As the Pokedex. Part of the survey core, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many money. types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are mm -hmm. finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will it's also almost receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials. Yeah, it's almost research. like they tried to incorporate some of the Pokemon Go S Pokemon Snap mechanics or ideas into this game the here. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout that your looks adventure, nice. you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that looks will help so you useful. Grace <laughs> and speed. Here, dear. 
helps you navigate on land faster. Weird deer. Isui and Bravery. That's how you say it, guys. Hand, allows you to soar through the skies. This looks sick. That looks great. What the hell? There's those formations again, those big rock formations that we've seen a lot. Allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. Sans Reach. Pokemon by your side, this area. You will be able to explore oh, there's the, the Pincer region to your the Pincer area. Jubilee Village. Let's get a Jubilee closer Village look. Jubilee is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying mission. That jar on the, on the shelf there looked a mission or a suspicious. Request, and preparing for your next excursion, you'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. Oh, dude, that's our fly <laughs> menu, guys. That's our Pokest fly menu. Return once more to prepare for your next task. <laughs> Along with the headquarters There's some berries the by the tree there. And your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also oh, this looks so a good though. Different services such as the clothier, the craftworks, and the trading post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. You have to go to a trading post. Okay, so that's the equivalent of the thing you'd have in the um You can receive Poke a variety Center. of different but missions and trading with other players, giveaways, Hisui. sub requests, shiny new Hisuian Pokemon coming very soon. Hisui. While missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your Arc Phone. The Arc Phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. Just like missions Breath of the Wild. Requests <laughs> and their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. Okay. So this guy wants you to show him a Shinx. Kind of similar to what we've seen in games already. Some random NPCs will ask you to show them a Pokemon to get a reward. Interesting, they're taking it to the next level here. Oh goes quiet and it pulses when you're going in stealth. It's very nice. Sweet, dude. You get a lot of experience for catching, too. And you can use it from the pasture as well, so that's a bit of a quality of life stuff, so that's pretty nice. If you had a full party, it goes to your pasture or whatever. You can just straight up pick it from your pasture by the looks of it there. <laughs> I had a bone stuck in my throat. <laughs> hey! Nice. Well, that's cool. Okay, Pokemon battles. We know there's two different styles. We know there's different kinds of battles. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Really? So you just get, you get straight up two hit KO anything if you stealth them. Battles are turn-based. And you can get your Pokemon 50. to attack Level 50. two unique styles. Strong style. Was it always called strong style? Or agile style. I know the agile style, I remember. I think the other one was called agile strong style. style. Raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Using agile style moves and strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. Look at the size of it! While surveying Sizes, Pokemon, guys. you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon, 
and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Alpha Be Pokemon, careful when I like approaching it. them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy. That's huge! Down. Can't wait to catch a Waylord! Here, the player uses agile style Thunder Raichu, by the way. No history in Raichu, folks. There have been <clears throat> leaks about that, so uh, I think we can might be able to rule that out now. Catching an alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. That's sweet. Wow, one shot? Oh, Jesus. A crit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wild Pokemon one shotting you? That gets a little scary. By visiting the clothier, ah, customization. You can customize your character with a variety of different clothing Hell items. yeah. As you progress through the game, that's what Pokemon's all about, guys. To Fashion. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers <laughs> can wear. I love how the protagonist's hat hasn't changed in hundreds of years. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. You get a little top knot going on. Wow. The, the OG, dangerous. the OG hair. That doesn't mean you can't look your best. <laughs> All right. I wonder if you can unlock more options. Must be able to. No, no Pokemon. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. Very like Dynamax. <laughs> the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. I wonder if we're going to get a reveal of a new Pokemon. Made using these oh my Pokemon's god. We moves. will. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. Good lord. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Where's our it's HP? Like throwing the Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. Noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Yeah. Balance throwing but how do we know how much damage? Attacks. Calm the noble Pokemon. At some point during the fight, the noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. Wow. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. Bubble. Fifth, level 15, by the way. So this is like the first boss. Stealth? Did that say Stealth Rock? It it hurt Psyduck. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends. Well, that's a little different. Countless adventures await you in the Hisui region, and we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye. Little animation. Come on, reveal something. Nothing new there. Ah, oh, they didn't reveal anything. That's okay, but that's cool. There's a lot of details about the gameplay there. What did you make of that? Hell yeah, that was really, really cool. For anyone interested, go over to my Twitter. Link is in the description. You'll be able to check out a pamphlet that I grabbed for free from this store here in Japan. And it actually has a, a lot of pictures and details in Japanese uh, about the game that may be some things you didn't know. So it actually kind of goes over as much stuff as possible. There's the wardens there. There are a couple of new pictures that I personally did not see before. This was from yesterday's trailer. I didn't cover yesterday's trailer because there was like barely any new footage, but this was like one of the 20 frames of new footage in it. And it is spectacular, guys. They are really pushing this game now and I cannot wait to get it. It is 
right around the corner. Thanks everyone for watching this video with me. I will see you guys around in the next video. We still are mashing out Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl glitches. We still have our giveaways going for Sword and Shield and BDSP these days, but I'm looking forward to adding Pokemon Legends Arceus into the fray. There's a lot of new Pokemon coming and we're going to be able to get their shinies and distribute them and everything like normal. Thanks for coming everyone. Drop a sub if you're new and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye!